Ahoy, ahoy. Uh, so starting for this year, I'm going to do this new thing. I was inspired by one of Catherine Steele's uh, vlogs where she was talking about some good New Year's resolutions for actors. She said that a great one was to see a show every month. And that one really stuck with me because I... I fall short when it comes to seeing shows. And then when I was thinking about it, it really struck me because I used to I used to see not just a lot of plays and musicals, but I would go to the ballet. Oh god, I went to the ballet all the time and I'd go to a lot of concerts, go to a lot of opera, like everything I used to do and then I just stopped. So I'm getting back into that and I'm going to see a show every month uh for January. We are, we, I'm taking myself on a date, I am going to uh, Shakespeare Tavern for Love's Labor's Lost, so that's the plan for today. I'll uh, talk more about the show when it's donezo. I got my eats, got my beer, got my playbill. Okay, so as you can probably tell by my addition of my cardigan, my more exhausted face, and the darker room. I just got back. Um, also, on the way back, I realized I so should have started this with a little song, and the song that I should have started with is um, Comedy Tonight, but too late, just pretend I did it. Uh, my quick TLDR review, I want to go back. Uh, first, I want to talk real quick about the space because um, it really, it really was part of the experience. Um, as you can see, it was it was a tavern, as the name suggests. Uh, seating, full menu, like with hot food and stuff, um, and like open seating, so like you kind of pay for the area and go and pick where you want. Um, and the great thing is that it's it's small enough that there's not a bad seat in the house. It's just a question of you may need to pick a particular area if um, you have a bigger group or if you want like a bigger table for your food or if you need uh, wheelchair access. Um, but in terms of seeing and hearing the show, it's it's all it's all good seats. So uh, keep that in mind if you go there. Um, so. It was, as you can probably guess, it was a more um, more traditional interpretation. Um, that's that's really what they do there. It's very putting on the bard, which is my preference. Very talented actors. Um, all of the other staff and volunteers that I interacted with were just so great and so kind and everyone was so happy to be there um, and one thing that I really appreciated about the uh, performance side of it was that the use of blocking and the physicality of actors of the actors was um, they used it very effectively for part of the storytelling which I think is essential in Shakespeare because the language of it can be pretty uh, hard to access and it also really enhances the comedy like there was there was a lot of moments in the high energy just it was a joy and again I hope I can come back uh, I have I haven't decided what my February show is going to be I have some ideas but honestly uh, with some of the plans I have going on I don't have many free weekends in February. One of them is Super Bowl weekend and damned if I'm leaving the house. <laughs> damned if I'm leaving the house that weekend. I know people who are leaving town for the whole week and I think they were the smart ones. So hopefully I can continue on February. There have some shows that I really want to see that are not going to be continuing on in March. So um, that was it for this one. Y'all have fun and be safe and go see some Shakespeare. Yes, about that. I will actually remember to put a link dinky in that area. Um, 
Uh, this show, Love's Labor's Lost, I believe goes on through the next weekend. And then in February, they're starting Romeo and Juliet because, of course, they're doing Romeo and Juliet in February. And then I don't know what else they're doing. I don't remember. But uh, it's it was a fun time. And, and now y'all go and have fun and be safe and hit the subscribe whatever.